Yeah. <laughs> What it do, dog? Welcome back to another video, and for this one, we gonna get a little bit serious. Dear future girlfriend. Yes, if you are my future girlfriend, if you are my next girlfriend, hopefully my last girlfriend, this is directed towards you. This is going to be my best attempt at finding you. I know you're out there, I just gotta find you. Where are you? Whoa. I am done. I am done playing around. I am done dating immature girls whose lives are filled with drama and they're like, it's not my fault, but it kind of is most of the time because people have some drama in their life, but you kind of got to have a part in it. <laughs> you don't just have drama in your life for no reason, okay? You, it's something, you've been hanging out with the wrong people, you're making some bad choices, talking about people behind their back, something's going on and you got drama. The only girls I can find are either that kind of girl or the girl that's in it for the clout. They just want to be known. They just want to hang out with me and date me because they think they'll get more Instagram followers or more blah, 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 blah or more do 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 or more da, da. no 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 more recently I've just been hanging out having fun I have stopped chasing love I have been playing around pretending I'm not the boyfriend type which I am it's inevitable I cannot run from it I was born to love somebody and love that person for the rest of my life and be there for them and make their lives happier and brighter and make that one specific person smile I know this I know this now I want the real deal I can't keep running from who I really am I want to start my life with somebody but I have to find somebody that wants the same thing somebody that is ready for what I is be ready for this is a big world, people. I need to cast a bigger net. That's what I need. If I want to catch the fish of my dreams, because they keep saying there's a bunch of fish in the ocean, I need a bigger net. Bigger than this one. That's all I got. I've tried the dating apps. I've tried looking in real life. I've tried the online stuff. But everybody I match with or that is interested in talking to me only wants to talk to me because they recognize who I am. They know I have money. They know that I'm a successful YouTuber and a lot of people know me. And that's fine. That's not not a bad thing, but they're just not looking for what I'm looking for. They're looking for something else. And your boy is not trying to provide that. So this is me asking for your help. I'm gonna need each and every one of you on this mission so we can accomplish my goal. It sounds selfish, but I need your help. I can't keep doing the same things I've been doing my whole life because it's not working. So I need to change it up. I need to figure out another strategy to finding the one I'm meant to be with. There are like 8 billion people in the world now, okay? So if you minus that by half because they're either little tiny babies or grandpas and grandmas, then that's 4 billion. If you divide that in half again because half of them are men, that is 2 billion. And then if you divide that into the age range I'm looking for, it's probably around like, huh? 400 million prospective uh, matches uh, available. So this is what I need. I need all 11 million of you guys to, you know, hook me up. Is this weird? I feel like 11 million of us are gonna be a lot more effective than one of us. Okay, this is serious. <laughs> if you guys think you know somebody that would be the perfect match for me, let me know. Comment down below, tweet me, DM me, I'm gonna be checking everything, all, all of it, all, every single comment, every single tweet, every single DM for the next rest of my life until I find the one. According to little brother Andrew, I have helped him find the love of his life. Yeah, I did that. Cupid is me. But now, it's my turn. I need to find my person. Where you at, girl? Where you at? I know you're around here somewhere. Either I haven't found her yet, or she's really good at hide and seek. Mm. So we narrowed it down to a few hundred million. <laughs> and with 11 million of us, I think we got a good chance. Now, I'm gonna help you narrow down your search to help me find my soulmate, okay? This is my type. I'm gonna tell you right now. Number one, definitely someone in their 20s. Because I'm in my 20s, so I need somebody else in their 20s. Otherwise, the generation gap is gonna be too far and she's not gonna get any of my jokes. Number two, I've always been into mixes. You don't know what that means. I mean, nationality-wise. Ethnicity-wise. 
Since I'm a mix, I think that's why I've always been attracted to other mixes. So if you're mixed, it doesn't matter what you are. If you're mixed with something, you got two different races going on, you're all unique looking and stuff. I like it. Not sure why, again, but I like it. She doesn't need to make a lot of money. That's not important to me. What is important is that she needs to have a goal and she needs to be working towards that goal. Not making excuses, not saying I'll do it later. She needs to be on it. Someone with a passion for something. Even if their end goal doesn't make them any money, I just like it when someone is super passionate about something that's very important to them. Someone who has a goal and does everything they can to accomplish that goal is very attracted to me. Another thing, she must be fit. By fit, I don't mean she needs to work out every day, all the time of her life. I mean, she needs to care about her body. She needs to be active because I like to do a lot of crazy things. I like to skydive, I like to cliff dive, I like to hike, I like to travel, I like to explore, I like to do adrenaline filled things. So you gotta care about your body, not be lazy, and be ready at a moment's notice. Whether it is a 10 mile hike in Hawaii, or we're kayaking across the ocean from island to island somewhere, you need to be prepared. Make sense? Moving on. Another thing, she needs to be down. Like down to clown. That means, what does that mean? Sounds different than what I thought it meant, now that I think about it. Let me clarify. Even if something scares her, even if there is something that she is unfamiliar with, like a foreign food, or something crazy, like bungee jumping, she needs to be down to at least try these things. You can be scared, that's fine. Everybody has fears. A lot of people don't like to do things uh, while other people are watching. It's fine, it's very common, but you gotta be down. Like, there's very few things in this world that I will not try at least once. And if if somebody else is down to try, I would love to share that experience with them. That's another thing. Hmm. I've always been into brunettes or darker haired damsels for some reason. Not sure why. Probably because my hair is black as night. And finally, if you can make me laugh, if you are naturally funny without even trying, and if you are down to look silly or be silly, even if people are around, then that's a huge plus for me because I like to clown. I like to be silly and if we're like at the grocery store in line and I'm like, like, hey, you know what I've always wondered? What does a turtle sound like? If the girl says, I don't know, do they even make a sound? I'm not sure. Boring. But if she says, hmm, let me try. <laughs> then I will fall in love with her immediately. <laughs> that's not what a turtle sounds like. But she knows that that's not really the important thing. Making each other laugh is the important thing. And you just gotta be down to clown. Okay, to give you guys a better idea of my type so we can further narrow down what I'm looking for, I'm gonna have my family come in and tell you the type of girl they think I should be with. Guys, okay, so my little brother's coming down here to help me give me some advice and stuff, but before he comes down, I'm gonna tell you something. Don't miss Sunday's vlog at 3 p.m. because I am uh, <laughs> surprising him once again with his dream girl for a second date. He leaves very soon, but before he leaves, I want them to be able to see each other at least one more time because he is convinced that she is the love of his life. <laughs> <sighs> Little brother Andrew. How's your love life going, by the way? Good. <laughs> uh, good times. So, what I need from you is I want you to tell my wasabians what kind of girl I should be with. Because enlisting them to help me find my true love. So I'm trying to help them narrow down their search. What do you think, what kind of girl should I be with? Someone old enough. Okay, someone in their 20s, as I said that, we covered Late that. Late 20s. Whoa, okay. Stop. Outgoing. Outgoing, that's a good one, I like it. Someone that lives here. Someone that lives nearby. It doesn't have to be someone who lives nearby, but that would be nice, I could see them more often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good talk. Okay. Go get somebody else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting on the next person, you can go to alexwasabi.com and get this hoodie. This is probably my favorite hoodie because it's like the black hoodie. It has gray on black wasabi on the arm and then it has a little design right here, which makes it look kind of dumb. Go get it. Oh, come, come. Close the door. My next victim has arrived. Okay. Sister Mariah, I need you to help me explain to them what kind of girl is a good match for me so they can help me find my soulmate. She needs to be loud. Loud, not too loud. As loud as you? I'm not loud. <laughs> okay. Am I loud? No. See, I'm not loud. She said I'm not loud. Next. Shorter than you. Shorter than me? Mm-hmm. But like, I'm six foot, so she's 5'10", that's cool. Next. It's a model. A model? <laughs> that's not necessary, but hey. <laughs> Models welcome. Haha. <laughs> Next. 
Yes. What kind of girls should I be looking for? What kind of qualities should they have for them to be the one that I can marry them and give you babies? Give you babies. Grandbabies. <laughs> First, smart. Okay, smart. Don't gotta be too smart because then you're gonna make me look dumb. But you can be smart. They should love your parents. Okay, you should love my parents. Yes. Mm -hmm. They should love you. They should love me. Yes. Okay, but what kind yeah, of qualities because of should... Alex Wasabi is <laughs> you. True. That's a good yeah. one. Wait, you have eyelash. Okay, Reese. make a wish. There. You gotta blow it. You missed. Didn't do it. You're not doing great. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what kind of girl should I be looking for? A beautiful woman. Okay, beautiful woman. Very finesse. Very finesse. <laughs> That's it. Just love you, respect you. Okay, is there a certain nationality I should be looking for? As long as they love you so much. So you don't want me to be a Filipino girl? No, that's better. <laughs> You married a white guy. Yeah, you should marry Filipina too. Because your dad married Filipina. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right? I guess. We'll see. That's it? That's it. Okay. See you, baby. They're not all babies. Okay, sorry. <laughs> if there's any babies watching, goo goo gaga. They'll know what I meant. All right. The older brother has arrived. Aaron, I need your help. I Neza. Need no, what? Neza, 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 no. Neza, Neza, Neza with Wait, a Z. guys, stop! Wait, you guys, we're just friends. Neza. But I need help narrowing down the search for them to help me find my true love. So, what kind of qualities should I be looking for in a girl? Or, what kind of qualities should a girl have for me to be looking for? Someone who can keep you accountable. Mm -hmm. Someone who's not afraid to tell you what you need to do. Okay. Someone who can dance. Someone who can sing. Someone with curly hair. Someone who can dance really well. Someone that we both probably know. Mm. Maybe has two Z's in her name. Shirley Temples. Neza. Ariana Grande. <laughs> oh my gosh! We're just friends! I already have a shit name for you. What? Aleza. Why are you so obsessed with me and Neza being together? Do because you, just you think guys we're are perfect, perfect together? together. We're just friends! She tells you what to do and you listen. What? She don't tell me She's do. not crazy. I'm a grown independent man. She's not dependent. She's independent. Oh my gosh. You don't know what you're starting right now, okay? You're gonna start a bunch of rumors. We're just friends. Uh, not Nessa Merrill. Okay, I'm gonna get that right. <laughs> Neza. Neza. Neza, Neza. Neza, Neza. Dad! All right, Dad. So I'm gonna need your help. Yes. I am looking for the one. I'm looking for my wife, my future girlfriend, and eventually my wife. I need to know what kind of girls I should be looking for. What kind of qualities should my true love have? Go! Hit me with some wisdom. <laughs> I don't think it doesn't matter what I say. I think it, it matters what you want. Yeah, but like, I don't want to be wasting my time. So I need to have a better idea of what I'm looking for. And the Wasabi is gonna help me find somebody as well. So they need to know too. She needs to be... Compatible with you. Compatible with me, okay? Yeah, yeah. And I would say energetic. Energetic. Right, honest. Mm -hmm. Sane. Sane. That's an important one because right. I've dated some crazy girls. <laughs> I, you know who you are. I'm not going to say any names. You be outgoing. Outgoing. Mm -hmm. Bus That's a common Business one. background would be good. Business? Yeah. Business background be good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me, me. Somebody's kind of in the same occupation as you. Yeah, in the industry. That'd be good. That'd be yeah, cute. Somebody's That'd in the cute. industry. You don't think she has any other qualities? She needs well, to be kind, cute. nice, stuff like that, but I think it basically it's up to you. It is up to me. Yeah. True. I'm not going to be dating her. All right. Should I look for somebody with short hair or long hair? I think it's up to you. How well, about. As long uh, as the person's nice. What about nationality wise? Uh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Not at all. I don't know. You seem to be quite fond of those Filipino girls. No, it doesn't matter. No? No. All right. You love who you love. I mean, yeah, that doesn't, that has no effect. Okay. So, all right. All right. All right. Thank you for your wisdom. Oh, you're good. What was that about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Love is confusing. I don't know what to do anymore. I do need about six grandkids. Whoa. Okay, I'm done with that. I gotta find somebody that has some wide hips. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> somebody with wide hips. I can just pop them out like, mm, mm, mm. Woo. Okay. Wow. This has been an eye-opening experience. This is my best friend slash roommate and his girlfriend, Matt and Lauren. This is what's going down. I'm gonna break it down for you real quick. I am enlisting the Wasabians to help me find the one, my true love. Because there's 11 million of us, like we figured out there's about probably like three to 500 million girls that are applicable to girls. Oh, my situation. Girls. So, okay. what right. kind of qualities do you think my true love needs to have? The same sense of humor as you. Okay, like... Like who? What are you gonna say? <laughs> Some people I know. What? Okay, just say it. No, no, no. Who is okay. the closest to my humor okay. you've ever met? Who have I vibed with the Ooh, hardest? The hardest? Humor-wise. Can we bleep this out? Because if anybody of the other people that know anything... Uh, okay, yeah, bleep it out. But you can say it. Actually, no, because she was she was your girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, Tylee. Oh! What if I said... Tylee! <laughs> <laughs> you can bleep that one out. <laughs> Yeah, we can 
I like, think we did say, have that chemistry. Yeah, you guys in the always humor had, world. you guys bounced off each other really good. Yeah, like, she was, it was always fun. She's super fun. Same sense of humor. Okay, be like family oriented. Like you know, they have to like That's true. love your family because your mm -hmm. family is really nice. Mm -hmm. First thing that came to mind, someone who's really generous, but that's because you're very generous. Very generous. So if so, you're giving a lot and she's giving a lot, it's gonna be a lot of a lot. It's gonna be a lot of giving. Because so, relationships are not about give and take. It's They're about give and give. And give. give. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, As you can see, I just gifted her this <laughs> wonderful robe for our one year I need to find my Lauren. Where's my Lauren at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are you? Where's my Lauren at? <laughs> Lauren! <laughs> I feel yeah. red. Am I red? I feel I'm red. I'm not a red. I'm not a red. You're really red. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for your contribution. You're very welcome. I will see you in a couple days. Hopefully with my true love. Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I hope you find your me. Me too. <laughs> Okay guys, I think we've narrowed it down as far as we can narrow it down. Some off the top ones. It'd be cool if she was a Disney fan, because I've seen pretty much every Disney movie ever. It'd be cool if she played an instrument, because I don't play any instruments, but I like listening to people who play instruments. <laughs> or can sing instrument of the voice. <laughs> and that's all I got, okay? I give you guys a lot. Now go out there, okay? Explore the world. Look, use your eyes, use your ears, use your spider senses, and find the one for Alex Wasabi. Hashtag find Alex's true love. That's all I got for you guys today. Make sure to come back Sunday for that special vlog I told you about. Oh, and then Wednesday's video. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you guys about that on Sunday's vlog. Until then, do me a favor and don't forget to remember, if you're not smiling, you're doing it wrong. Okay, bye.